right, speaking of being on fire, that housing market, you know, new data shows that home sales have dropped significantly last year, down by more than 18%. I guess they're not as much on fire. I guess and, not. Oh boy. Yeah, the National Association of Realtors <laughs> says it's the biggest decline since the housing slump of the last wow. 2000s. Wow. So what do you need to do to sell your home? Uh, we've got, uh, with low inventory still out there, mm -hmm. Alexa Caballo, the real estate of the year for 2022. Hey, nice Alexa. to see you. Nice to see How you. How was your trip, first of all? Did you learn anything at the uh, real estate? Oh, I always learn. Yeah, it's about surrounding yourself with other bright-minded individuals and you know, be able to take that knowledge and bring it back. But yeah, be able, being able to sit next to Dr. Lawrence Yoon was incredible. Our, our chief very economist. very smart. Wow. So knowledgeable. So, and he, he was saying he really enjoyed the show. So oh, oh, that's good. We're glad. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, this is really interesting. Were you surprised when you saw that, you know, home sales are down? I mean, is it because of the high interest rates and low inventory? Like, what's going on? Yeah, just simply put, there's not a lot of homes for sale. And because of the higher interest rate, people's affordability has been a little bit challenged. Mm. So that's why we had a historic low number of sales. And we really felt it in the industry as a whole. Mm. Um, and I know the consumers, the buyers have been feeling it as far as lack of homes for sale. But the sellers have been able to maintain really good pricing, which is really, it's still a good market, a healthy market, mm -hmm. right? You know, we never want to experience like those crazy lows where the market swings and the prices are so low and everyone has to foreclose and short sale. That was awful when I entered the market in 2011. So luckily, most people that own a home, anyone that owns a home, still has really good equity. And luckily, into 2024, the Fed said they'll, they'll cut the interest rate by three different times. Wow, that's great. Yep. Yeah. So that's going to really help Ooh. for affordability for the interest rate for people. So you say uh, price your home right if you're looking to sell your house. Absolutely. How, and how do you know? Comps and yep, things like that? Yep. Or? So I always say you want to get your team, your dream team together, your realtor that you trust, you know, your lender, everyone, all the ducks in a row. Because a lot of times you have to sell, you have to purchase as well. Uh, but really making sure that you have someone that you trust, your trusted realtor come through the home to be able to look at the home and say, based on what I see here and based on the condition as well as the location and, of course, the specs of the home, the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, garages, et cetera. This is the strategic list price that we recommend, right? We always recommend a range of value. And the key is not to overprice it or underprice it too mm. much. Really want to find that sweet spot. So you need your trusted realtor to get in there. And being the inventory is down so much, I would imagine whenever you are putting the price out there for, it's most likely going to sell more than that. Yeah, it's funny because we're still having those statistics across the board where we're having the multiple offers. And I always tell my seller, listen, you can never truly underprice because the buyer demand will increase the price up to where it should go, the market mm. value. And you say keep your home, uh, keep your emotions in check. Yes. And make sure that you stage your home properly. Correct. And when we say keep our emotions in check, the average person's been in their home for about 10 years. So the longer, mm. and that's actually increased. So the longer someone's in the home, the more emotional it is. Sure. Yeah. It's a big process. So, so attached. It is. Yeah. You're so attached. It's your home. You know, mm -hmm. it's not just a house. Right. Um, so we always recommend to stage the home, go start going through that process, because that's going to help you to start getting even just emotionally prepared. Mm. Take down you know? any personal photos and items possibly. Exactly. All right. Yeah. All right. Alexa, Slowly detached. Good to see you. Welcome home. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. You too, Scott. And here's how you can get in touch with Alexa. Alexa at thecaballogroup.com. All right. If you